Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we're going to be reading tarot cards for Hong Jung and Wu Young uh, from 80s. So remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes. And why is that? That is because we do not have Hong Jung nor Wu Young here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them. That's not to say I'm not accurate, but we don't have them here to, to have a say. So just remember to take these videos with a grain of salt. And without further ado, let's get started on the video. Also, I apologize if there might be some background noise. Um, there are people at home here that are kind of arguing a little bit. So, but that's okay. We're not going to get that. We're not going to let that get in the way of, of our video. So, let's get started on Hong Jung and Wu Yang's combined energy. When they are together, what is their energy like? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mm, I'm hearing lots of spending. Hey, big spender. Spend a little time with me. Bow, 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 wow. Yeah. I feel like when they are together, Hong Jung and Wu Yang, they can let their guard down with this strength card showing up in reverse. You know, strength normally talks about, you know, of course, being strong willed, being courageous and all this stuff. But when it comes in reverse, to me, sometimes it can talk about letting your guard down, letting your walls down. And especially with this King of Wands showing up right next to it. I really do feel like the two of them can just really let their guard down. Look at this. I'm seeing, look, lions. And then we got a lion here. So there's a lot of symbolism here. And lions are very protective of their pack. And so I feel like the two of them are just very protective of one another. And because they protect each other so much, they're able to just kind of relax and let their guard down when they are together the king of wands also talks it is a very fiery and ambitious king so i feel like when they are together they just love to do a lot of things they like to go out and have fun whatever it feels like they want to uh, what they're feeling like doing they'll go do it um and that makes sense here with this ten of pentacles showing up in reverse which you know ten of pentacles talks about absolute abundance but sometimes when it comes in reverse they could talk about like you're spending a lot of money um or you're making your own traditions you're creating your own traditions and so i feel like the two of them they they go out and have fun they like to they they don't mind spending money they don't mind you know creating their own traditions like let's say everyone is doing this for Christmas. You know, everyone's going to their family for Christmas and both of them are like, mm, I don't really want to go and hang out with family for Christmas. Do you want to go and do something? And then they're like, and the other person's like, yeah. So I feel like that's how that is for them. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I see a lot of good things. Now, for those of you that are wondering, is there like a romantic connection with them? Because I know some people do. I don't feel like it. there is. Like with temperance showing up here in reverse. I don't really think it's my place to say. But I do think that they do balance each other out. But maybe they're just really good friends. Because they complement each other very well. And that's why a lot of people maybe think that. Um, and so yeah. We also got the two of wands right under this. In reverse. You know so like. I think they balance each other out, but they're not together. Like, they're just friends. They're really good friends. And that is a beautiful thing. We love beautiful, close friendships. All right. So, let's just see. Um, 
Hong Jung's independent energy and Wu Yang's independent energy. Like what's going on with them independently and then some advice for them. And that'll be it for the video. So what is Hong Jung's current overall energy? Empress. Ooh, that's a good card to start with. All right. Hong Jung's current overall energy. And King of Swords. That is really beautiful, y'all. Hong Jung, I feel like, is in a great place right now. All right. Let's see Wu Yang's current overall energy. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, so I feel like Wu Young is probably a little bit of the more rebellious one. If I would have to guess, like, who is a little bit more rebellious, I would, or who maybe has had a more difficult upbringing or has difficult obstacles to overcome, I feel like Wu Young is one that's a little bit more maybe a little bit stubborn, a little bit more rough around the edges. Um, and here's why. I see the Hierophant here in reverse. Hierophant is all about having a good moral code of ethics, you know, or, or being really religious or very spiritual and having a, a, a code of ethics that's very traditional to live by but when this card comes in reverse i feel like Wu young just kind of does what he wants he's a little bit rebellious he creates his own moral compass um and i feel like right now currently with this five of pentacles showing up in reverse you know the five of pentacles always is about feeling left out in the cold feel, being very sad because maybe life has been been really cold to you people have been really cold to you now when this card comes in reverse there is like a a sense of the world has been really cold recently to Wu Yang and maybe he feels like, you know what, I'm just not going to, to worry about it. I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to do whatever feels best for me. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Let me open up my reference book a little bit more because I know the Five of Pentacles can also talk it just talks about like poverty or being like cold, sorrow, great loss, which could have been avoided. A rapid change towards money is needed. <coughs> Excuse me. So remember how I said that there's a lot of like spending when the two of them are together, a lot of money's being spent. I feel like maybe that's what's going on. Wu Yang kind of uh, has spent a lot of money. Or he, he lost something that could have been avoided. And for me, I really am thinking maybe it's like money that he could have, that he lost. I don't know if it's like through gambling or through, you know, just partying. I don't know what it was. Um, but there is something that could have, that was lost here that he could have avoided. And I think now he's just being a little bit rebellious. He's just kind of. Yeah, rebelling is, is just the only word I'm really hearing. So he he is feeling like he needs to change his his mindset in regards to how he spends money. So, but he's kind of rebelling in regards to that sense. So that's what I'm seeing for Wu Yang's current overall energy. Now, Hong Jung's energy is a lot more lighter. It's a lot more abundant especially with the empress you know the empress is very fruitful very mothering very nurturing abundant so he has a lot of great things going for him and he has a lot of thoughts going with the king of swords showing up you know the king of swords is very intellectual is you know sometimes he might have his head in the clouds if it's upside down but when it's right side up like this he uses his intellect to his uh, as his best asset and so i feel like hong jung right now has a lot of ideas going on he has a lot of abundance there's a a, a lot of creativity is just what i'm seeing here and that's beautiful we love that he's also being a lot more observant too i'm nerd noticing this bird and being very astute 
and observant. I feel like he's just observing a lot. He's regaining a lot of information. And yeah, so let's get some advice for Hong Jung and Wu Young to finish off this video. Advice for Hong Jung. We got the Fool in reverse. Ten of Pentacles again, but this time showing up right side up. And let's get some cards for Wu Young. We got the tower. Yeah, changes need to be made for Wu Young for sure. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. They really are very close. Is just what I'm seeing. Like very similar cards showing up. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get a Pegasus Oracle for both of them. We got Blue Pegasus of the Open Sky for Hong Jun. Ooh. Peaceful Pegasus of the Earth. A lot of Earth energy for, for Wu Young. And Earth, you know, is all about being grounded, right? So I really do feel there needs to be a sense of groundedness for Wu Young. So let's start with Wu Young since I'm already just kind of getting those things for messages for him. We got the Tower, which is all about big changes. There need to be some big changes. And again, you know, this card in my reference book said there needs to be an attitude, a change of attitude towards money. And I think that's the change that really needs to happen. He needs to have a big change in regards to maybe how he spends his money. Um, and also, like, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is all about pleasure, spending, or, like, enjoying things. But, like, look at this beautiful woman, and she's, you know, just admiring these grapes that are here. I feel like he needs to change his, his the way he spends his money. Sometimes maybe he spends his money on very extreme extremely lavish things and you know there's a beauty in just noticing what's already like bountiful and what's already free in regards towards like what nature already grows what's grown from the earth and you could still have it just gain just as much pleasure and joy from things that don't cost a lot of money so that's what I'm seeing. There's a groundedness here. Peaceful Pegasus of the Earth. I feel like he really needs to come to terms with how great things from that are like grown and natural can also make you feel as opposed to like this lavish car or, you know, oh, look at like these nice clothes. There's something going on here in regards to Wu Young's attitude or like mindset towards like money um that he needs to change around so that's what i'm seeing for Wu Yang. now for hong jung we have the fool in reverse and this is really telling me like there's no need for him to really make any big um oh what is the word i'm looking for big one second y'all i'm having a i'm having a, a some mental fog um you know, whenever you take a risk, there we go. There is no need for him to take any big risks right now um, just because it, he does have an abundance of of whether that's like money or thoughts or feelings. There's just a good abundance in his life right now. There's a lot of things going well for him. And because there's a lot of things going well for him, he's being advised to not feel like he needs to take any big risks at this time just because things are going very well for him. Um, yeah, so the Ten of Pentacles is all about keeping tradition. Um, whatever he's been doing recently is working for him and he needs to continue just working towards that, creating his own like traditions or keeping the traditions he's been doing. Now... We also got the blue pegasus of the open sky. Blue pegasus represents the throat chakra, which is all about speaking your truth and whatever is on your mind. And 
that's what I'm seeing here. Like with the King of Swords being the uh, ruled by the element of air, the throat chakra also is very airy, right? It, it's very air-like. And so the advice for him is to continue communicating his thoughts out, whatever is on his mind, keep on writing things down, um, whether that's like projects or lyrics or future plans. He uh, he needs to keep on doing that. There's he's And he has been doing that is what I'm seeing. He has been making more of a habit to kind of write things down or express himself verbally or um, r in writing. And I think that's going well for him. There's no really need for him to make any big changes, any big risks right now because things are going well for him. So there is no need for him to make any big changes for Hong Jung and then the opposite for Wu Young. He needs to make big changes in regards to maybe how he spends money or how he views money and his relationship towards money um and yeah that's what i'm seeing so but the two of them really do complement each other very well oh that's very beautiful and yeah that's what i'm seeing for hong jung and Wu young's reading let me know what you thought of this video feel free to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or a thumbs down if you did not like the video i'm so sorry if maybe throughout this video you might hear some background noise but um, my parents just decided, I guess, to start arguing about something while I was recording. But the messages still came out pretty clear for me. Um, I was just tuning them out. So again, I apologize if you got this far and maybe you heard some some background noise. And if not, just ignore what I just said. Or I'll, I'm just letting you in on my life a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually. Love and respect yourselves and others. And stay hydrated. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.